Hi guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on our collage board templates for Photoshop. So the great thing about these templates are if you are a professional photographer and you want to kind of present a product to your customer that's a little different, you can use these templates to quickly put together collage boards. Even if you're not a professional photographer and you shoot your own photographs, you can use these templates to insert your own photographs or if you have professional photographs taken and permission to reprint them then you can do the same and use these templates. So I'm going to show you guys how to get your pictures into the templates and how to customize them. So I'm starting with this one right now. As you can see this is exactly what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the template. So these templates come in two different sizes for the collage boards. There's a 16 by 20 so you can make a large collage if you're having maybe a sweet 16 or a birthday party or a one-year-old's birthday party and you wanted to make a collage board to hang up, you could use the 16 by 20. If you want, there's also a blog size and I'm going to show you that one too. And the blog size is of course much just smaller so you can post it to social media. So I'm going to go ahead with the 16 by 20 collage board right now. So the first thing you're going to see is this kind of clipping mask instructions and everything and that is going to help you out here a little bit but you need to turn this layer off before you go ahead and start customizing. So you can do that by either clicking the eyeball here or you can go ahead and just place it in the trash. Alright so now we have the template. So now I'm going to show you guys how to get the photographs into these little spots here. So I'm going to go to my photographs and I'm going to start with the very bottom one here and for that I'm going to be using this photograph. So I'm going to go over here and use my selection tool and I'm going to select the entire photograph, edit copy, going back to my collage board I'm just going to go ahead and paste that photo directly on top here. Okay. So as you can see, the photo might be a little bit big for the collage board. So what you can do is you can use your move and transform tool and click show transform controls and that'll help you resize the image to where you want it. So we want it to fit in the little boxes that we have there. So what we need to do is once we've resized it, you're going to go to your clipping masks folder and open that. And as you can see, if you can see here, each clipping mask will show you exactly where the picture will be. So right here, clipping mask 4 is the very bottom one. So what I need to do is take this layer, drag it into the clipping masks folder, but I need to make sure that that layer is on top of the box that I want it in. So right now, I'm taking this photo layer and I want it to be in clipping mask number 4. So once I've done that, I'm going to go to my layer tab and then hit create clipping mask and that's going to go ahead and take that photograph and just place it right in there and once you have it in the clipping mask you can go ahead and move it around or change it or resize it. Alright so I've gone ahead and added that photograph now we're going to work with these photographs up here I'm going to start with this middle one I'm going to be using this really adorable picture for that middle one so I'm going to select the entire picture again hit copy Going back to my collage board, edit paste, and I'm hitting the move and transform, show transform controls. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resize that again. So the reason it's showing up behind these clipping masks is because I just pasted the layer in the clipping masks folder, but the same with how you put the bottom layer over top of clipping mask 4, to get this into clipping mask 2, I just need to move the layer this photo, photo layer right above clipping mask number two. And then I'm going to layer again and I'm going to choose create clipping mask. And that's going to go ahead and put the layer directly into the clipping mask and I can go ahead and resize it if I'd like. Of course you want it to be size big enough to actually fit in the clipping mask. All right. So moving on to different photograph now. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to use my selection tool again, copy. You can either go up here and hit copy. On a Mac you can hit uh, Command C and that will copy it as well. And if you are on a Mac and you want to paste it, you can also do Command V. And that will paste the photograph. 
Again, going up to my transform controls, I'm going to go ahead and resize this. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the clipping mask right here. So again, it's in the clipping mask folder. I just need to move the layer above the clipping mask that I'd like to use, which is down here. So clipping mask three, I'm going to select layer, create clipping mask, and there we have it. All right. So we're going to add one more picture. All right, we're going to go ahead and use this one right here. Again, I'm going to select a certain amount of photograph, copy it. Going back to the collage board here, I'm going to paste. And I just need to make sure to move that layer up within the clipping mask file above the clipping mask that I want it in. So once I have it placed, I'm going to go ahead and hit layer create clipping mask and I am going to do the transform controls I should have done that earlier to resize it but I'm going to do it now and we're just resizing the photograph here for the size that I'd like it to be in the clipping mask all right I'm going to close the clipping masks file so what I should have mentioned before is to actually get the templates into Photoshop, the easiest thing you can do is you can go to where you have your templates stored. So I've got mine here. And you basically just drag them and drop them in here, as well as when you purchase it, you're going to get a document with a link to the fonts so that you can install the fonts in your computer. And that when you go ahead to customize the text in the template, Basically, Photoshop won't give you an error message because that font will be already in your computer and Photoshop will be able to recognize it. So I've already gone ahead and installed the font. So now that I've added my photographs, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to customize this. So I'm going to go to text. And as you can see, right here is where it says Ann Smith. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Hit OK. And what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to change her name. Let's say her name is an Anne. We'll say it's Lola. And I'm going to change the Smith to James. So her name is Lola James. So as you can see, it kind of has re, you know, moved the text around depending on the little heart that's here and everything and we can go ahead and fix that. So once we've placed her name in there, I'm going to go here and here's where I can see the heart. Show transform controls and I can go ahead and move the heart wherever I'd like it to be. And as you can see, it will give you these guiding lines here. So if I if I want to move the name around as well, so I can hit that I can check the name here and I can make sure it's centered. Then I can select the heart layer and I can move that between the name. And then for the swirl number one, I can select that layer. I don't even need to have the transform controls if I don't want to. I can just go ahead and move them however I want. And swirl number two, you can select that and move that. So if you customize your text and the name shows up different, it could be smaller or, or larger, then what you can do is you will find the layers for the heart and the two swirls so you can move those around so that they accordingly fall into place. All right, so that's it. So basically we've showed you how to put the photographs into the template, how to customize the text and the shapes that are on the collage board. Again, this is the 16 by 20. I do have the blog size one right here. It works exactly the same way. You're gonna delete the first layer. I'm not gonna entirely go through with you because it literally works the same way as I just showed you. It's just a smaller version so that if you're posting to social media, you're not using a 16 by 20 image that's going to take forever to load or the size might be too big.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to go on to sleeklens.com, you can check out our other collage board templates. There are six of them. So they're not all feminine like this, but there are different ones for different occasions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and you'll be able to try it out for yourself.